guys, Marsh Games here, and welcome back to another Unturned video. This is a continuation of uh, one of my videos I did on how to make a free Unturned server using Hamachi. That already has almost 2,000 views in a couple of weeks, which is super awesome. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to add custom mods and custom maps to your servers. It's a very simple process, but it might be a bit confusing because you have to go through a bunch of files, so make sure you pay attention. I'll go a little bit slower um, than some people do, so uh, yeah. So suppose you already have your server up, and if you don't, um, make sure to subscribe and go check out my other video on how to make a free unturned server using Hamachi. Hamachi lets you connect with people around the world. Anyways, so what you want to do is first you want to go into Unturned, um, go to Properties, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. And it's going to bring up this here. I actually had this selected. I was testing something earlier. Um, and so this is the files here for Unturned. It's, a, it's, it's got a lot. Of stuff, it's like four gigabytes for at least for me, anyways. And so, um, so I have my server right here, um, and it's a vanilla server. Let's run it for a second. Um, got my commands running here. That's good. And um, so if you go into uh, maps here, you can see. Let's I want to let's say I want to put one of these maps inside my server, but. You maybe you also want a server from the Unturned Workshop. So what you want to do first, go to the Unturned Workshop. Super simple. Just scroll down here, browse the workshop. We'll bring you to the page, and then uh, so this little tab right here it says Browse. Go to Ready to Use, and then uh, go to Most Popular, and go to uh, whatever you want. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to one week. I guess that's kind of fine anyways let's find a mod we want let's say uh, ooh oh first of all okay let's do the maps first let's kinda do this order here the beer mod <laughs> let's have this map eternal frost the long dark this is a map okay we're gonna click on this and um, t to make sure it's a good map go down here check the reviews 12,000 subscribers and so that means it, it, it works. It, it works really well. And as you can see, it's got some nice previews here. Oh, wow, that's kind of nice. So, yeah, it looks like a well put together map. And so, what you want to do is subscribe just like that. And it's going to download the map right here. It might take a little bit longer depending on the uh, map size. But there we go. It is complete. So, now if we go back to our unturned server folder, um, it should be in our maps folder here. Oh, no. That's what you would think. It's not. So in order to see that map, you want to go two folders back to Steam Apps here. Click on this. I'll make this a little bit bigger for you guys. And then so uh, Steam Apps, you want to go to Workshop. Yes, Workshop. And then you want to go to Content. And um, you might have a ton of folders here. And the, the server unturned folder for unturned. <laughs> sorry. The unturned folder. Um, for your maps that you have downloaded and your, um, I believe it's the, uh, what's it called? The workshop items is going to be 30, 49, 30. So 30, 49, 40, 30,000, no, 304,930. Um, yeah, this is the unturned folder. Um, and you might have a ton of folders in here. Um, so what you want to do is you want to, a lot of these actually might be empty. Oh, this isn't empty, but this is from all the mods and all of the uh, maps that you have downloaded to your unturned directory that you could use in single player and so this is what let's here let's click on this one down here eternal frost oh so okay I'll get to that in a second um got some just random stuff if if you deleted it like if you deleted the server by unsubscribing this folder will still be here but there'll be nothing in it um Halo. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what that, that is Evan Pack. Oh, that was my first mod I downloaded. Survive the Horde. Oh, that was a cool map. Yeah, anyways, you get a bunch of maps. This is where all your uh, mods come in. So, to find your folder that has what you just downloaded, you want to click on Date Modified. And then, uh, you'll see it, I downloaded this at 5.27pm. That was two minutes ago. And that was today, uh, September 19th. So, we're going to click on this. Eternal Frost. This is what we want. So, what we're going to do is you want to... Highlight over the server. Nope, not like that. You're just going to click on it and then right click, go down to copy, or press control C. Then you want to go back to Steam Apps, go to common, unturned, and then. So it's not going to be in this maps folder because this is actually the default maps of unturned. So to put it into your server here, you're going to go to servers, go to server, and then go to workshop. 
If this folder is not here, um, just run your server one more time just to update it because it might not actually not be updated. But anyways, this folder will appear. You want to click on this folder. It'll have content, maps, and Steam. You want to go into maps and just paste that folder right in there. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go into that folder and we're going to uh, go to rename. Don't rename it. Just press control C and copy that name because what you're going to do is you're going to go back and then you're going to go to server right here. This is in... Yeah, server, and then you would go to your commands dot dat or whatever it is. It should be just called commands. Um, you can open it Notepad or Notepad plus plus. Anyways, you'll have your commands here, and then instead of the map being whatever you want it to be for the default, press Control V. Oh, oh crap! I I just copied Washington. Okay, so you want to paste your map in right here, mate. It is case sensitive, so you make sure you put that in correctly. Press Control S or go to File and Save, and then you close out of this. Whoops, oh jeez. I just closed that whole thing, great. Next, let's, let's go back and uh, run our server one more time. And we should say that we have run, there we go, Success, successfully set map to Eternal Frost. Let's go up here. Um, there we go, Eternal Frost. That is uh, the map that we just downloaded, which is perfect. Next, just type in shutdown to shut down your server properly. Um, so next, let's download a workshop item, or a few, that we want in our server. Um, so let's go back to the workshop here, and, uh, let's see. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Four stars. This probably good. A battled, worn, uh, Zubeknagov. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's go to browse, then ready to use. Let's go to most popular one year. You don't have to do this. I'm just, I'm just clicking on it. Oh, flare guns. Oh, these are so cool. I think I'm gonna get the flare guns. So this this will work with a vehicle and item. So let's gonna subscribe to this, and let's get one more. Uh, oh, the freighter pack. Oh my gosh, the freighter pack's insane. This is on the shoes RP server, the the, the server that I'm playing on right now in my uh, RP series. Anyways, uh, so you've downloaded those two mods, you subscribe to them. So let's go back to your unturned folder. And uh, we're going to go back here to Steam Apps and then go to Workshop. Go to Content. And then your Unturned folder, which is 304930. 304940. And then go to Date and click that again, and it'll bring up the latest that you downloaded. Here we are Vehicles and GP. Oh, nope. It's, uh, there we are Freighter Pack and uh, Flare Gun. Make sure you, you have the right folders, and then just click on both of them. You can hold shift and click both of them at the same time, or control. Hold control or shift and click on both these. Press control C or right click and copy. Go back to your Steam apps, common, go down to unturn wherever it is, and then go back to your service folder, go into that server, and then go to workshop again, and then go to content, and then you're going to paste those two folders in right there. And uh, make sure it's right, yep, flare gun and the freighter pack, good. That's both in there, and then I'm gonna run the server one more time, make sure it's in there, and actually, I'm not sure if it says it in here. Uh, let's wait for it to load, and let's see if it actually tells you that your mods have loaded at the very end. So the server's up says downloading zero workshop items, that's kind of uh, weird. Anyways, let's go into the game, I'll go into the game, and uh, we will go into that server that you made, and uh, let's see if your map actually worked. You can test this again in a bunch of times with a bunch of different mods, whatever you want. And I'm going to see if it worked for me. It should, and uh, we'll play around with it. Here I am in the game. Let's go to play servers LAN, and there it is. Oh, look at that. Eternal Frost. It's right there. And, uh, oh, look at this. Workshop items, Flitter Gun, Freighter Pack, Eternal Frost, a Long Dark. And so, oh, sweet. This should work now. So the more mods you add to your server, the longer it's going to take to load. So I wouldn't recommend going past um, I don't know, like 10 mods or something. So it's loading our server here. Let's see if it worked. And at this time, I have 85 subscribers. And oh, it worked at 8,000 uh, views. And so that's awesome. I want to hit eight, not 800. <laughs> I want to hit 100 subscribers by October. So if you guys are going down there and smash that subscribe button, hit that like. Oh, what? Oh, my game just lagged. Sorry. Um, make sure to subscribe. I want to hit 100 subscribers by October. Make sure to smash that like button. Um, so yeah, it looks like it works. So the Freighter Pack ID, let's go check that. 
uh, let's go back to the workshop and um, uh, freighter. I'm just gonna type in freight. Wait, did I spell that wrong? Freight. There we are. What the? Okay. Um. So the ID for this is thirty nine four one. No, thirty nine one four one. So slash give marsh thirty nine. Oh my gosh, thirty nine one four one. There. Okay, so if this ha if this has a problem with you, um, go in here, type in admin, and then whatever name you have, then you'll admin you. That's something that I probably didn't do. Um, there we are. So when you're admin, it will be blue text. There we are. Give Marsh, uh, thirty nine one four one. What? Maybe if you do at, I'm not sure. Give Marsh. 39141. Something is wrong. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't spawn it. Okay, so it looks like this is actually broken. Let's actually try the flare gun. So apparently this one's broken. Uh, don't do that. Make sure it works. I, I didn't check the comments. I'm kind of stupid there. I just know that it works on a bunch of servers somehow. So, fl uh, flare gun. Here we are. The blue, let's the uh, blue flare is seven six fifty slash give seven six fifty, and it didn't work. Okay, so if this is not working for you, we probably did something wrong. Let's go in our service folder and let's go to workshop content. Content. There we go. These two folders are in here. Let's see. Um, let me figure out what I did wrong here. So the problem might have been what I. Um, this server actually I made a long time ago, and so I just remade a server called Server Tutorial, and I redid all those steps. Okay, so it says downloading zero workshop items, and um, we're gonna figure out why. Oh, okay, so this makes sense. Look at this: Steam, Steam apps, comment on turn, server, server, tutorial, workshop slash Steam. So it looks like the workshop items go with the Steam folder. So let's uh, try that right now. It doesn't matter. Let's just close it. Let's go to that folder. I think this might have been updated, so it might have changed. Let's go to workshop, and then content, and just, uh, copy these, and then delete them, and then go back. Put them in the Steam folder. Oh, oh why? Oh, oh crap. Let, here, let me, uh, let me just drag it from my recycle bin. There we are. I shouldn't have deleted those. So don't delete those. Just copy them, paste them, and then delete them. Oh, I'm not sure. Whatever, however you want to do it. Let's go back and let's see. It should run now because it said that's where it was missing those files. So let's run it up once again. As you can see, successfully set map to Turtle Frost. At least that's working. And it looked like it's did it again. So, um, unturned servers. Let's check that. Servers. Server tutorial. Workshop Steam. Servers. Serve tutorial, workshop, Steam. Okay, those two items are there. Here, let's try something. Okay, let me do one little thing. Let's actually uh, go into the freighter pack folder, and uh, no, not the freighter pack. Didn't spawn in. Let's delete the freighter pack folder. Whatever body you have, let's just take all this stuff and put it into the Steam folder up here. And uh, I might take a little bit of time. Workshop, Steam. So there we go. All this stuff is in there. Oh. Okay. So now let's try it. Okay. Let's run the server one more time. I hope this works. Oh, and, oh crap. I darn it. I, I started the server up twice. That was the problem. <laughs> Make sure you turn off your server though. And, or else that will happen. That kind of freaked me out the first time that ever happened to me. So that didn't work either. So um, let's... Put all these folders back into the original folder like this, and let's make a brand new folder called Content with a capital C inside the Steam folder here, um, as you can see up here. And then just drag. Let's just try to drag this back to the Content folder. Go to Unturn. Let's run it. Oh man, I really hope this works. I don't want to make this so difficult for you guys. So sadly enough, I am sorry, but the way you um, put in mods into your own server looks like it's broken. I've done a research for about 20 minutes now, looking on the web and everything. Uh, not just YouTube, I've been just searching places up and stuff like that. And it looks like it's broken. I have seen a bunch of videos and a bunch of other people on like Reddit and stuff like that saying 
that uh it's broken something's wrong with it so I'm sorry I can't help you with that but anyways maps still work so if you want to have a custom map for you and your friends it still works anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure leave a like and subscribe if you know the solution to this problem here about downloading mods to your custom servers make sure to comment down below and I'll reply to you saying thank you and I might mention it in another video anyways thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time bye